Hi guys, it's Andrea. And if you remember when I went to London, I picked up this Lost in London colouring book um, by Sylvia Moritz and Rowan Otterson. And I thought I'd do a quick flip through of it just to show you so you can see what the pictures are like inside. You can see the sort of style it is, but I thought we'd go through all the locations. This book is actually available on Amazon. I did look uh, and find it on there. So if you want to get a copy, just type in Lost in London colouring and it'll come up. So it's got French flaps, which is very nice for a colouring book. The paper is it's quite smooth, but it, it's quite thick as well. So we, uh, we've got this book belongs to here with one of the London scenes. Now, the first two pages are a map of London. So basically, it's a journey from London Heathrow Airport to London City Airport, taking in the sights along the way. So on the first one, this is Heathrow Airport, and it gives you a little fact about Heathrow at the top. Not all the pages have those, but some of them do. So this is Wembley, where the arena is. Kew Gardens. And they're all beautiful double spreads. Hampstead Heath. There's a little fact. I love the little facts when you get to them. That is, I have no idea where that is because it doesn't actually say. I mean, let me just have a look on it. So it's after Hampstead. Let me have a look at the map. Hampstead. This is Hammersmith and Olympia. This one is, I have to check back. This is Kensington. Unless it actually says on there, you're not going to know. Notting Hill. Paddington, this is Exhibition Road, so that means, it, yeah, it's just Exhibition Road is the area, never heard, never been there, and then this is, that looks familiar, Knightsbridge, and this is, well that's Knightsbridge, I don't know, I've lost one somewhere, that's Knightsbridge, what's the one for Knightsbridge then? Okay, that's fine. Knightsbridge. I don't know what that one is. So they're just all various places in London. Some of them will actually tell you where they are, which is great. Pimlico. That's Buckingham Palace. Maybe I can tell that. Mayfair. nice with a little balloon over it that's the uh, BT in the building build BT tower just hit the camera Primrose Hill and Camden Town I love Camden Oxford Circus Piccadilly Circus St James's Park Whitehall I find it hard to turn the pages now and then Westminster, and there's the Elizabeth Tower. Elephant and Castle. So there's quite a lot to colour in this book. Waterloo. London Eye, which is great. That looks really good, actually. Each passenger capsule of the London Eye represents one of London's boroughs. There you go, there's a fact for you from the book. Trafalgar Square, Covent Garden, I love Covent Garden as well, the British Museum, one of my favourite places to go, the British Museum, Angel and King's Cross, oh look, more aeroplanes, and there's the Barbican Centre, St Paul's Cathedral and the Tate Modern, Got London Bridge, the Shard Monument, That's, uh, Liverpool Street, There's the Gherkin, Shoreditch. Oops, keep hitting the camera. Sorry. Brick Lane and Old Gate, so sort of like Whitechapel area. Oh, 
There you go. HMS Belfast. What's <laughs> this? What time is it? There's a uh, tower bridge. Background there. Canary Wharf. It's where we actually stayed when we went to London and I got this book. Stayed in there, uh, there for one night. Greenwich. Dome, the O2. It's called the Greenwich Peninsula. Stratford. And then City Airport, which is the end of the book. So yeah, it's a little tour of London and it's it's really, really nice the way it's been done. I really like the line drawings and you can just colour it however you want to. So that one is Lost in London. Again, as I previously said, it is available on Amazon. So just go into Amazon if you want the book and type in Lost in London. It's re retails for about a tenner. So it's not too expensive. It's not cheap, but it's not too expensive. I got it for a tenner in London itself. I am gonna actually enjoy doing this one, I think, when I get round to it. I've got so many colouring books though, but I will get round to that as soon as I can. So that's Lost in London. I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through and I will see you again soon. Bye now.